oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. That's when you know you're catching too many fish when you get hooked up and scream, oh no. <laughs> All right, it's time to head offshore. Let's go. Today we are heading offshore with my friends Brian, Jeff, and Shane on Brian's 25 foot tidewater. This was back in February, so the conditions were pretty tough with lots of wind. We're buddy buddy with my friend Kyle from Lightning Capital Living on his 32 foot CV, and he's accompanied by a bunch of other sea dogs and teammates of ours in the Dirty South Fishing League. Check his and Eric's videos out in the description below. Make sure you stay tuned because this was an absolutely epic day. I hope you enjoy and thanks for watching. All right, we're out here. Oh, look at that right away. Mr. Brian Ruby Not hooked up. Not a mango. Not a mango. All right, so we just got the spot offshore. Got all our buddies over here in the CV. Other sea dogs. We got Shane with the gaff. Let's see how terrible he is with it. We got Ruby, Brian Ruby on the rod with a cobia on. Keep her sized. One more crank. Get his head up. There he is. Oh, he bounced right off. <laughs> it is. I put a hole in him just so you know, make him bleed a little. Get the sharks in. This thing's not sharp. It is not going in him. <laughs> Hit him with the other one. Oh yeah, it's a little dulled out up here. There's another one. Yeah, I got him. I got him. Got him. I got him. He's that was it. Bro, activate. I have that turned off, so you can't do that to me. It's a white fish. Right here. Ooh, we got a snapper, snapper, five pointer. That's a fucking. Patty! Oh, I reeled in the tip. Why didn't y'all bring Chum? <laughs> that was off the bottom. <laughs> that's a fat mang. Yeah, that's a nice, a nice one. Five points. Yeah. Mango. Oh, yeah, good oh, mango. That one might go 20. 19. 19. <laughs> Don't worry about what we're doing. He has a shrimp in his mouth. We're using fish bites. Fish bites for sure. <laughs> he might be 20, he's long. Testing that red line. Red line. Ah, no, that's some average. I was real fast. Let's go, red line. We go. We go. Put it to him. This rod's got plenty, though. I love this freaking rod. Got to add to my species on the red line. Ten pound test. Beasting up the AJ. up here I got color that's how you whoop them on the red line. oh god I got the line in here at least a small one you want to grab him for me free line <laughs> that could be a that is a lesser I'm sure. I'm sure. 14 to 22 though, I think he'd probably be over. Yeah, he's enough. How do you get service out here? <laughs> no, you got the oh, that fish. fish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah it's One, two, three, four, five, six, seven spines. Makes them a lot. That's a greater. It'd be a real one. It's a real one. On the seven or 10 to 17 red line. 10 pound test, that's fun. On a bear jig head. 
You've been trying to get it, you've been getting it to the bottom? Yeah, straight to the bottom. We're using a, a one and a quarter. Oh yeah, I gotta switch it up. Yeah, we use a one and a quarter hog ball. It is constant over here. <laughs> the other boat looks bored. Got another AJ over there. Drop mine down. We'll go live for a minute, see what he's got. Let me see it. Yeah, a little AJ action. Oh, I just got hit. Empty hog ball. Yeah, on the way up. Oh, I just got eaten an empty hog ball on the way up too. Oh, you yeah. son of a mine back. Oh no, maybe I got yours and lifted them up. Do we both got them? God dang it! Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? How do we make that trade? I don't want to make that trade. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it ate my empty hog ball on the way up. Wow, and he's bigger too. God. Joke's about to be on this AJ when I just break this hook off in his face. Oh, this one's way bigger than the other two. By that, I mean he's probably like an extra two inches, but they fight that much bigger. This is what happens when you go live. This is why the camera's just been off. We got a bunch of mangoes. Oh, thank God. You can have the jig. Keep my two dollars. Nice mang, nice mang. That'll go 20, I think. There you go. Switch. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, you came to, came to my side, man. That was supposed to be mine. What a jerk. Oh, hey, look at that. Gold jig head. Who said that? That's the, uh, that's actually the exact jig head I like the most for, for mangs. Going 20? Oh, oh yeah, bonus! MVP! Switch it up to a lighter jig head. Going right through like this. And then being patient, letting it drop. 20 pound test leader. Oh crap, we all tangled up. That's what I get for trying to record something. We had enough of the snapper and amberjack, so we decided to head in for hogfish and grouper. On our way, we ran into these dolphins. Often when you find the dolphins out here like this, if you give it just a little bit of gas, they'll start riding the front of your boat. So we decided to give it a shot, and here's what happened. You say you wanna try, but you never do. Sugar, there's a reason why we lose. You say you wanna cry, but you never do. Sugar, there's a reason. All right, that's enough fun. Let's get back to fishing. Got this keeper scamp on my first drop at this spot. Got a nice keeper hog. And oh my goodness, what the heck did you just catch? This is our last spot. We didn't even get a chance to freaking get the camera on. Oh, I didn't put the hog. Let me let me see the hog. Oh yeah. Last spot. That's a keeper. He's 16. Yeah, Boom. That's yeah, Mike. 16. Whatever. Oh. Oh. Huge gap. Yeah, that's a nice one. Time to go. All right. Send them back. Wrong seat time of the year. Gag grouper closed on January 1st, so he gets to live. Nice fish. Hey man, you call it. This spot doesn't suck. Quick really? scamp in the box, hog in the box, 32 inch grouper, all you know within two minutes. Dude, that yeah, that was... I wonder what these birds are here for. Woo! Check out the... Wow, that's a good day right there. We got some lanes, got some hogs, some big old bee liners, got the cobia, star of the show, some big old mangoes. 
We got a scamp. We got a red grouper. Finally, the wind died down. So, beautiful the captain day. right there. Hell yeah. Mr. Brian Ruby knows how to do it. Beautiful yes, day. Yes, he does. Sea <laughs> dogs. Let's go. Sea dogs versus the rats. Peanut butter jelly. Deck shot. Boom, if you got a problem with any of our videos, uh, there it is. Oh, look at this selfie over here. Red line we had a selfie. We caught him. All caught on red line rods. All right, we're back at the house. We got a cooler full of fish. Spread them out a little bit. We got Papa here filleting them up. We got Shane cleaning them up. You got to be a real vet to use one of these electric knives and do it as good and fast as he does. He's powering through them. He's cleaning them up. Okay. We're going to get these fillets inside, rinse them off, maybe clean them up a touch more if we got a little bit too much red on there. We do. We got shit. And then we will uh, and then we will roll them up in paper towels and these fillets will be nice and firm. All right, we got our paper towels. We got our fish. Boom. Give them a nice rinse. The cold water starts to firm them up a little. We drop them in paper towels. Oh, we got Rhea here to make some noise. Say hi. Uh -huh. So boom, back to here. If you can see the paper towels right here. Got our fish in the paper towels. Little rinse. Paper towel, two pieces of fish, roll it. bag in the fridge for a half hour all right let's check on the boys see how they're doing out here Shane you getting the hang of that thing or what yeah man I'm whacking stuff up and it cuts the bloodline up watch this here we go so that cuts on easier with a regular knife but whatever Boom. Filet mignon for That is Joey. for the dog. Go bring that inside. This is how you make man's best friend stay man's best friend. Joe, you want a piece? Not one at a time. Say it, good boy. Mm. Is that yummy? Is that good? Feel more? Want some more? How much fish we got left? Shit. Oh, wow. All right. So we got what I did inside already. That big old baggie. Yeah. That big, big old baggie. And one more fish to go with a couple of fillets. And what has it been? A half hour? 45 minutes? Yep. Yeah. And the time the wife ran to the store. Gotta love it. Yeah. This guy, he knows what he's doing. He's showing us the ropes. Oh yeah, he hooked it. I fillet with a regular knife like an idiot. No. All right, quick and easy. We're gonna do a little Everglades. A little bit of Tony Chicharries. A little body uh, complete. Then we're just gonna take it, pan fry it with a little bit of butter, a little bit of olive oil, and it'll be good to go. I did. I'm doing it lightly blackened so that the kids don't hate it. Boom. Coat both sides just like that. All right, we don't have a lot of battery left, so let's do it quick. Medium high heat, pan is hot, little olive oil, couple things of butter. Don't mind all the background soccer happening inside, that's not supposed to happen. Make it bubbling good, put it in a little too early. This is about a one meal, or one beer meal, and we'll be done. hot pick it up shake it so that your fish doesn't stick cook it till the other side starts to turn nice and white when we get white around the rims that's when we're gonna flip them yeah, 
do not recommend carrying your fish this far like I am, but I am a trained professional. I pretend to do this on YouTube. On to the next. Go on, next piece is in. Keep it going nice and hot. Don't forget to shake it. Three fifty three right now. Oh yeah. Got a little bit of white coming around the edges. That means it's time to flip. Beautiful. Not even a third of the way done with the beer yet. Shake, shake, shake. A little more olive oil as needed. A little more butter when needed. Tester, you want some fishy? Yummy. Is it yummy? Yeah. You want more? <laughs> oh yeah. If they are a baby and they can't talk, if they don't like it, they won't talk anymore. They're gonna like it there. Say change. yummy. Oh, you want some? I'm gonna change your dish. Is that yummy? Say bye. Bye. Camera's dying. Say bye. How many people watch it video? Like three and a half. <laughs> I'm pretty, I'm pretty popular. Me and Uncle Say hi to the three people that are going to watch this video. Hello. Why you got wine in front of you? I don't know. Wow. It was just dinner. It was just there. Sure. Corn dog and wine, huh? Yeah. This is my technique. Oh, thanks. Can you teach me how it's done? Am I supposed to bow my line or how does that work? So what are you letting about halfway down? And then bounce it a little bit? No, I'm not. I'm never coming tight on it. So I'm letting it go like this. Look. Yeah. As it's falling, yeah. I just flip my bail to give it 10, 15 feet, and then as it comes tight, if it's not hauling ass right at the end, flip and go back. Yep. Okay. Just five, 10 feet at a time. Interesting. And then one of the times you'll see it just start hauling ass, or you'll get that little bit of tightness. Because for whatever reason, mangoes, I feel like, never hit it when, it, when you're tight on them. <laughs> Jim got Oh yeah, baby. It's been every freaking bait down for the last, yeah, for the last little bit. Actually, since I switched to this jig, it's been every bait. I don't know if it's a three eighths or a, a half. It's dropping very naturally. That's. Take. Yep, it's a whole party of them over here. Might actually have to count these at some point today. Uh, yeah. 